What's going on, fam? It's Entertainment Motivator, Educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Game Cop News update today. I'm on the phone. Yes, my wife has the office. I gotta put a video out because I found this hilarious. <laughs> Y'all already read the title. I'm gonna talk about that. Before I do, man, here's what I need to do. One, like the video. Just like it. It's free. Also, hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Then hit the notification bell. Like, you know, every time I drop a video and share the video, it helps out a ton. So let's get into this, uh, man. Mike Bubbles out as offensive coordinator at Auburn after one year. Yeah, it's the same Mike Bobo that dipped out on us when Shane Bieber gave him the offensive coordinator job. Kept him on after he didn't do so hot as the interim head coach of the Gamecocks. Shane Bieber said, yo, Mike, I got a job for you. He accepted it and then declined it to go to Auburn. Guess what? We beat Auburn. And guess what? Mike Bobo, your job is snatched up. What I think about this, man? Hey, you should have stayed in South Carolina, right? Should have stayed in South Carolina. I felt like I'm not here to say, oh, Marcus Statterfield need to get fired. Y'all, listen. Listen. Like my man Walt always says, man, y'all need to listen to Walt. Walt usually watch the channel. He usually comments. Walt is an older gentleman. He puts in this perspective because a lot of the younger Gamecocks don't know what it's like to be a Gamecock for a while. Okay, up until recently, we started to have a a serious contender, serious program. I mean, we had uh, we had a program in the in the eighties, you know, with Black Magics. Uh, the nineties, we was trash. Early two thousands, we were trash. You know, up until you know maybe you know Lou Holtz got there. And I mean, when I say early 2000s, I mean like 99, 2000-ish or whatever. You know, then early on that decade, we start doing well. And Steve Spurrier came in, took us to a whole nother level. But we don't really have a big history of winning, right? A lot of y'all said fire Mar Marcus Statterfield. I think Marcus Statterfield is a blessing in disguise to be here. Because look, if we had Mike Bobo, look. <laughs> what has Mike Bobo led their offense has done at Auburn, absolutely nothing, right? If they did so much, he would have still been um, uh, offensive coordinator. And they, uh, their running back, I think his name was Tank, they didn't give him the ball. Listen, you should have stayed in South Carolina. That way, you had an offensive like groove, okay? In your offense, Kevin Harris was the leading back in the SEC, right? I like your I, I like his style, but I, I felt it fit more of more with South Carolina. Now with Marcus Statterfield play calling, I think the jury's still out. I don't think it's bad. We won six games, we're going to a bowl, the jury's still out. But you could not tell me that we'd have won six games with Mike Bobo's offense. I, I'm a, I'm gonna say that right there. Do you guys think that we would have won six games with Mike Bobo's offense? Auburn didn't. Auburn did. They needed that game against Alabama in the Iron Bowl and almost won it, but they needed that game. So, a lot of y'all said Mike Bobo should have stayed. Nope. Uh-uh. He's far where he's be at. He's far where he's at. Okay, South Carolina don't need you. All right. I said that when he left, and I said it now. Don't let the door hit you. Where the good Lord split you. <laughs> so here's the thing, man. I think Arvin is trying to find something. Typically what happens is that they first go through the offensive coordinators. The offensive coordinators are the ones who are uh, following the sword first. And then it's the coaches. So that coaching staff is going to be gone. Uh, Arvin is not going to take another five wins uh, season. Uh, Mike Bobo will find a job somewhere coaching football. I don't think it's at D1 level. He didn't do hot at Colorado State. His last two stops didn't do that well. He will find a job at the LBS, FCS level. Um, I think that's a, is, is a blessing to size, disguise, man, because, listen, you should have kept your commit at South Carolina instead of you jumping fences and thought the grass was greener at Auburn. And guess what? You got to water your grass. But here's what I need you to do, man. Let me know think about this in the comment section below. Get us to entertain and motivate and educate. And please, don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another Gamecock news update. Mike Bobo's out. Yes, it's not a Gamecock. He's a Tiger. Well, he was a Tiger. He was a Gamecock. I don't know. It's news because we're South Carolina fans over here like, ha! You should have you should have kept this job. You would have been bowling. Let me know what you think about the conversation below. But like always, 
subscribe to the channel. It is the next time.